I've been on the short end of, of, of this four times and uh, I've been able to win it twice. It's really no, uh, it's no great feeling when you lose. Um, one thing you can do is just try to pick yourself back up whenever that time may be and then uh, just go at it again. LeBron James uh, literally carried the weight of the Cavs on his back throughout the finals. Literally, he played 275 of a possible 298 minutes and became the first player in finals history to lead both teams in total points, rebounds, and assists. He's now 2-4 and four in NBA Finals during his career. We're talking about his legacy, but before we get to that, Stephen A., uh, uh, you wanted to say something? Yes, I got the 11 member, uh, media members here. Okay. Oh, Sam Amick for USA Today. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, not him, but Steve Ashburner for the NBA.com, Howard Beck for the Bleacher Report, uh, Zach Lowe for Grantland, and Jeff Van Gundy, our very own oh, Jeff Van Gundy for ABC TV. Mm -hmm. All four of those guys were the ones who voted, who voted for LeBron for James. LeBron. Okay. Yes. Mark Stein's on that list. Mark, Mark Stein, Stein is on yeah. this list. Mm -hmm. Hubie Brown is on that list. I have no problem with either of those guys. I have no problem with anybody on the list. Okay, good. No, no, no. For the I'm record. just saying, four guys for LeBron James, not one single person for Steph Curry. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> just I'm with note. you on that. All right. Do you want to get back to his legacy? Back to the, back to the question. All right. So, so the question is this. What does this loss do to or for LeBron's legacy? It greatly enhanced LeBron's legacy. In fact, Stephen A., I'm going to go this far. I think most people will not accept or, or even sort of acknowledge that LeBron James is two and four now in the NBA Finals. They will say he's two and two because they will not count the first one with Cleveland and this one with Cleveland. And I'll remind you, the first one with Cleveland was against my San Antonio Spurs, and I continue to hear, well, LeBron had no shot against my big three, Duncan Parker and Ginobili, in their primes. And yet all I heard about that team was how overrated it was. I fought on first take all, all that year about, ah, they're overrated, they'll fail in the playoffs. And I must tell you, rooting for my Spurs and against LeBron James, who was a just man among boys for a while that year that was the year he he destroyed detroit remember with the 48 yes. points i thought he would at least win one game in that finals and he got swept they were all close games but he didn't win a single game so there's a fly in my i noticed he's right there he's right there just he's hanging right out he, he's he wants to get he's to your notes. issue he's with to, me. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't like what you're saying about lebron yeah okay <laughs> okay so now we, we we bookend with the other cleveland one and obviously do i have to say it again yeah. There's no Kyrie and there's no love. Right. So there's nothing but love for LeBron losing this finals four games to two. So I look back now, and there was that one disaster for LeBron his first year in Miami. Don't want to dwell on it, but a complete meltdown. Chosen one turns into frozen one. We know all about that one. Bounces back next year, played big against that young Thunder team. You and I were there, Stephen A. Smith. Did get a whole lot of help in that series, obviously, from a Mike Miller and a Battier and Chalmers. They all had big games in that series, so he got the help that he didn't get in this series from his supporting cast. Is that fair to say? Okay. But I thought LeBron played huge in that series. Next one against my Spurs, 2013, game six, down the stretch, LeBron James came completely apart. Had three turnovers in the final minute, missed the tying three, we know what happened, long rebound, Chris Bosh kicks it to Ray Allen in the corner, boom! And that was the end of my Spurs as we knew and loved them because they came out deflated and flat in game seven. And I got to give LeBron the highest. That, that's the greatest game I've ever seen LeBron play was that game seven against that Spurs team. Followed it up last year with my Spurs winning in five games by a record margin against a LeBron who just didn't have enough help because Dwayne was hobbled and we know all the story. And, and it just seems like again and again, I hear, I tweeted this last night, a lot of people, I don't know if they took exception or embraced it, but it got a lot of reaction, that it just seems to me that finals after finals after finals, I keep hearing LeBron just doesn't have enough help. Oh, you do. It's always enough help. He never has quite enough help. So he's two and four, but I think the world views it as two and two in the finals right now. Well, I wouldn't say that his, his you know, his legacy has elevated as, as much as you say it is because a loss is a loss, but I do believe the class that he has displayed uh, dealing with the adversity, the obstacles that he's had to deal with without complaint. Um, I just have a lot of respect for what I saw him do. Um, I know that 
four finals losses, however, is not good in terms of history uh, because a lot of people are not going to know, nor are they going to research as to why it is. They're just going to see that you two and four in an NBA finals because I'm of the mindset he's two and two. I never counted the first one, and I don't really count this one, but I know that history will record it in an official capacity, and there are those who won't look in depth to find out why that was, and they'll hold it against them. And then then when you take into account the second time that they lost to the San Antonio Spurs, they had a lot stacked against them. But at the same time, again, uh, you know, Dwayne Wade was not really healthy. He played. Uh, but that's the thing about it. I think that when you look at the, the to me, the one thing that can be counted on, there's only one thing that can be counted against LeBron where there is absolutely positively no excuse. And that was his first year in Miami. When they went to the finals yeah. and they lost to the Dallas Mavericks, there was <laughs> simply no excuse. That moment was when LeBron James wet the bed, did not show up, wasn't King James, title had still evaded him, that was on him, but that's the moment he needed to go to to elevate himself to the level of greatness his talent so richly deserves. And by the way, in similar fashion, they went up two games to one in that series. That's Remember right. That? That, that, that's right. But the difference is, is that Dwayne Wade wasn't ailing, Chris Bosh wasn't ailing, LeBron James wasn't ailing, and they had a crew. They had a team good enough to beat Dallas, and they should have beaten Dallas. As great as Dirk Nowitzki was, Dirk Nowitzki was the one that showed up and played like a champion that series. Mm -hmm. It's just that Jason simple. Terry and Jason Terry. Terry. Well, Jason okay. Terry, but I'm just saying, you know, the role players play yeah. the role, but Dirk Nowitzki was the superstar. He was. And, and it's just that simple. Mm -hmm. And so, I, that's the, but that's the only thing you can point to. Last, you know, last year, we all knew that Dwayne Wade wasn't healthy. This year, you've got Kyrie Irving out, you got Kevin Love out. So when you look at it, you can't can't really blame LeBron. I can tell you that much. Um, I feel bad for him. I really, really do because I truly believe in my heart of hearts as we sit here today. Not even Kevin Love. If Kyrie Irving right. were healthy, the Cavaliers are the NBA, uh, would win the NBA mm. championship. I think they would have beaten Golden State. I truly feel that way. And so I just look at it, and the odds continue. It, maybe to if he were one hundred percent healthy, not not that he survived through the the game one. Well, I just I just think that I just think you needed bodies. I just yeah. think that you didn't have enough bodies. And even Kyrie at sixty five percent dropped twenty three and seven. So I'm just looking at it. Great and, 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 listen, I just look at it and I think where LeBron, you know, gathers empathy is that everywhere he goes, he's usually the only main guy healthy. The other guys are not, they ain't healthy around. I mean, like, he can't, he, he really can't seem to catch a break. I think about Bird. I think about Isaiah. I yep, think about true. MJ. I That's think so about, true. I think, and he can't catch a break for once. <sighs> just, just he, be he able is, to go into a final you know, and he, have your horses ready to go. Ready. Yeah. But he is the ultimate Iron Man himself. He, he's unbelievably fit and healthy, which is why when you tell me he spent, and I'm thinking he's the best conditioned well, athlete in the NBA, and I can't, spent, I can't get my the, mind around it. I say, it. He, well, let me try. He, say, understand this. He spent because the people around him don't take care of themselves the way he takes care of himself. If you, if you, it, it, it was, what, what was it? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that astute at track. What is it? Mm -hmm. A four meter relay, whatever it is. I mean, mm -hmm. the point is, is that you're, you're passing a baton to somebody. Okay. You know, you ain't running around by yourself. It's somebody got to run for you. And if somebody that's anchoring and stuff for you, you know, can't can't finish the job, or somebody that goes before you puts you at too much of a deficit, then you as a team don't win. LeBron continuously has the odds stacked against him because for some reason, he's not just an Iron Man. This dude takes care of himself, mm -hmm. and I think he does it a hell of a lot better than the guys he plays with historically, and that's a big problem. Okay, so bottom line, okay, for those ahead. who dare to bring up the Jordan LeBron comparison. Well it isn't. It's just not fair. Yeah. Six finals, six championships, it's just, it's not. MVPs. Well right? let's not also forget Scottie Pippen and that migraine was in the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. The six title runs. Scottie Pippen was available and ready for all of them. Mm -hmm. Horace Grant was your third wheel for the he first three. He was available for all of them. Okay. Dennis Rodman was yes. available for the last three. He was available for all of them. 
You didn't just have greatness. You had health on your okay. side. They don't have that but with LeBron. The bottom line is 6 and 0 oh in the finals yeah. versus 2 and 4. Okay, LeBron James again played 275 of a possible 298 minutes uh, during the series. That is amazing. Before we get out of here and go to break, we're talking about one and done. He took the Cavs to the finals in his first year as head coach, but is it over for David Blatt? That is the discussion on the other side of the break. Stick around, folks. First take on the road for the finals.